Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this next video, we're going to learn how to edit a part directly within our bottom-up assembly. As you can see, I already have my assembly file open. However, if I was to close this, the way you open a file is really easy. You go to your project manager, find your vice assembly, double-click on it to open it. Perfect. Okay, in looking at this part, we can see that our sliding jaw doesn't quite fit. But it's kind of hard to tell that. I mean, you can see if we look right up here, you can see there's some daylight there. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make it easier to determine where the problem is. So what we're going to do is go to the Visualization tab, and we're going to go create a cut. I'm going to rotate the model around and choose right there. And from there, I'm just going to validate. And next, I'm going to go ahead and select this model, right-click on it, and choose View Along Normal. And now we can look straight up at it, and you can see where the problem is. Now, how do we edit this part? There's actually a couple ways. First of all, we can right-click on it and choose In Place Edit. We could also go down to here and go to Others, and open the document directly or show in project tree if you don't know where this file is stored in your project tree. As you can see, it's right here. Once we have it here, we could double click on it here and open it. But that would be opening it back up as its own document and we'd lose our assembly context. So you can either right click here and choose in place edit or a little power user trick, just double click on the part. And as you can see, the rest of the assembly turns to wireframe and now you're looking just at the sliding jaw. Now, I want to see the driving sketch for this as well. So I'm going to simply just double click on it, and there's my driving sketch. Okay, maybe we want to look straight at it again. Let's look view along normal. And we're going to modify this value here by double clicking on it from 30 to 28. And because of uh, the way we've designed this part, everything was sucked into the base and we're done. I'm going to double click to hide my sketch and end my in place edit. And you can see everything fits perfectly now. The last thing we want to do is deactivate our 3D section. There are a couple ways to do this. One, just right click anywhere on the screen but not on the part and you can see deactivate cut and this will deactivate that current cut. However, you can also go into your Entities Manager, go find your Cuts folder, find the cut, and say Deactivate. Whatever way works for you. Now, please note that this cut is now stored here forever, unless you delete it, so you can always go back and reactivate it. And what's really cool about this is if we move this model and we reactivate that cut, it's following suit with the sliding jaw, even if I do it dynamically. It'll dynamically update. At this point, you've made your design change. It's now time to save the model. So I'll just go up here to hit Save. And now you're ready to go on to the next step. 